What's up, Nerf Herders? I'm Scott. I'm John. Jay Bong. San Diego Comic Con wrapped up today. Um, big stuff came out of it. A lot of footage, but the biggest one for sure. DC blew the roof off with this new Batman vs Superman footage. Three and a half minutes of this. Uh, they show Suicide Squad 2, but this one officially got released. Everyone can see it in HD now. This trailer, we've been hating on this movie to an extent, more or less just expressing concerns, but this yeah, really flipped my mindset. Mm -hmm. um, where do we start? Uh, let's see. First off, let's just talk about everything. Okay, dude. like There's first so off, much like, in here. This you, is a lot. You asked me and 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 Perm, like, w did it change our minds? Yes, like without a doubt, it totally changed my mind. Um, I can totally see Ben Affleck's vision for like Batman now, you know, and Bruce Wayne. Like it, I, I could. Every time he they, he was shown, it's like I wanted more. Like I, I felt it. Like I believed it, and yeah. it just makes me more excited. For him to even like write, produce, write, direct, and star in his own Batman solo oh, film, dude, yeah. which is going to be totally BA, and you wonder if it's going to take place with like Robin. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I don't know. I could. Well, you saw the Robin <clears throat> suit in the trailer. Yeah, dude, that yeah, that, 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 that ha jokes on you, Batman. Yeah, which could, which could either, which either could be Tim Drake or Jason Todd. And you wonder if oh, it's like that's just like an old suit from like past because you know Batman's old in this movie. Well, yeah, I mean, it could be an old bat suit. It could be the old suit of Robin or something. But, I mean, regardless, like, it's... That's oh, it was so, Robin, it was yeah, because it had the R yeah, on it. Yeah, it had the R on it, oh, yeah. Oh, it was totally... Yeah, yeah, I didn't see the R on there. But, dude, yeah, that's super, super dark mm -hmm. because he's using that as motivation. <laughs> yeah. And to fuel his rage and anger and stuff, mm -hmm. man. Like, it's a very dark, dark turn for Batman. Yeah. Um, I was, uh, I was telling Scotty that uh, Alfred doesn't seem like your typical butler... Um, you know, uh, sir, you know, your eggs, you know, like, uh, no, more, like in the Nolan ones, he's like, sir, you can't no. be doing this. Here's your green drink. You yeah. know, like, like he's more like, just like, listen, I've seen some shit. Like, yeah. you know where this is going to go. Like, like he's I, more of a mentor. I was telling Scotty, like, it's almost like he's been to like war, you know, either like Gulf War or Vietnam or something or Korean War. I don't know, whatever. But he's got like a military type of like mindset. Oops. Military mindset to him. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know. It's just what I felt, you know. Like oh, I felt yeah, like a more hard ass Alfred for sure. Definitely a hard ass Alfred. And it reminded me of the Earth One graphic novel where he was. He's like a. He kicked Bruce Wayne's ass. He's like, yeah, you he keep like, it up, I will whip your ass, and he did. Yeah. You know. How about like the very beginning of this whole thing? So I mean, it kicks off where we're following, you know, the events of Man of Steel, where Superman's going to court to basically answer for the destruction, and they pin it on him, dude. Like they straight oh, yeah. up say, like, you're responsible. And then right after, we see Bruce Wayne running in what we would assume is Metropolis during the actual battle of Superman and Zod, um, watching his building go down and just... Wayne Financial. Oh, man, yeah. dude. It was, it was Screaming on the phone. God, was yeah. that scene powerful? What? Yeah, He's running awesome. towards, like, ground zero. When you see just a... Like, going through yeah. the building and everything. Yeah. I, I liked it a lot, and I'm really, really excited about Batman, especially. I'm still not sold on Superman, but... Maybe I will want to see the movie. Yeah. Because I just don't like this menacing version of Superman that like we're getting with Zack Snyder. Like, I don't like a Superman who's got that, like, evil look or that evil, like, feel to it. I'm not saying he's evil. I mean, he's, you know. But he doesn't have that, like, very uplifting Superman feel to it that I'm, like, looking for, I guess, in his character. But Batman, like, I fucking love it. Oh, yeah. Like, I love everything with Batman right now. Yeah, well, I'm and, hoping uh, hoping they can like do something to change like Superman's <clears throat> feel once he and Batman kind of team up. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I can definitely see your concern with that because it's it's, it's gonna yeah, be, they're making uh, Superman out to be kind of like I just the don't Jag like this whole like and... because essentially it's like you have to figure okay Superman is probably fighting Wonder Woman like he's probably the only person who can make her you know be thrown out you know what I mean like the the, the scenes you were getting with Wonder Woman getting like tossed around yeah and, like, he's probably fighting her and I don't like that. <clears throat> idea of like this this is like that or are we getting or are we getting snippets of what a final battle could be with a pop with, or with a doomsday or something yeah that, i mean that could be too because I'm when superman sure. when superman's darting and he's like really low to the ground and his like, eyes are right yeah there's destruction everywhere right yeah, so i don't think don't we're know. gonna get a superhero battle that's gonna cause that kind of destruction <laughs> man like something's going on at that but it's point. weird because when you when they show batman uh you know back clawing away you see the city skyline in the background you know, and he's not in his mech suit. He's in exactly. natural. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it could have been camera trickery, like a lot of good, very was good that editing. Lex Luthor in his in his mech suit, dude, like firing away right, at Batman. Right. That was God. a pretty big beam that was coming at yeah. him. 
That's her. You know? I mean, I mean, are you going to see Doomsday in is full? Obviously, they're not going to like this. Like you said, it was a three and a half minute trailer. They showed a lot of footage. I mean, a lot. a lot, almost, almost to where it's like you got two more trailers, maybe even three by the time this releases. And that, so that's my to, concern. You dude. have to be careful on what you show people. Yeah, you've already shown so much. Like you have, like you almost yeah. have to show a little bit more until the movie comes, just to keep everybody like juicing for more. But like. There was a lot shown in here. Like this is almost what would look like a final trailer. It's just like, okay, yeah. we've we've got what we need. I'm just like, I'm not sold on Jesse Eisenberg yet. I'm not sold on Henry Cavill. Like, those are the two characters that I'm still like, okay, I'm still like on the fence about them. Yeah. Everything yeah. else looked so good. Well, everything with Jesse Eisenberg too. He had hair in all these scenes too. Which, right. Right. Which makes me, you know, skeptical. You know, he's, he's definitely gonna shave his head, but I wonder if they're gonna have him shave his head because he's gonna have to for some reason operate that suit. I like think it's gonna be something where he can't have the hair. He may require like, well, I mean, is he gonna like get some kind of you know like cancer or some kind of skin disease when he has to handle the kryptonite to defeat Superman? You know, like that's that could be it too. Yeah, I mean, we did see we saw the kryptonite, so we already know that's gonna play in there to some like, extent. We don't know what. I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm hoping that yes. he puts on a, a spectacular performance. But <clears throat> I'm just not sold on him yet because there wasn't enough of him in that trailer to show me like, okay, this is gonna be a, like a kick-ass villain. The only thing, yeah, I mean, they really only had limited. little snippets of him talking. I'm like, okay, like I like the dialogue that he's bringing. You know, like I love the whole, you know, the greatest lie is that angel or devils don't come from the ground but they come from the sky. Like I love these little things he's putting in there, but like. I'm still just not sold on like a really young Lex Luthor. One like, thing I wasn't yeah. sold on at all was when he's like, the red capes are coming. I didn't you know, like I was that. Like, that I was kind of like, like, yeah, I didn't uh, really. I understand like fun. American Revolution synonymous with like the red coats are coming with Paul Revere, but it's just like, um, I don't know, there's, there's something it was, it was going on there. a little weird dialogue. It's, it's got to have some sort of significance what's going on. That was a weird slot to throw in I will there, give but. you this though. This, this, this trailer definitely gave me better hopes for the movie. Oh uh, yeah. Before. I mean, I got. There were parts where I was like, "I'm pumped. I'm pumped up right now." Oh yeah, dude. I mean, there was like, there's some am, cool stuff in here, man. Like when, when Jesse Eisenberg's like straight up saying he's like he's describing the battle of Batman and Superman. You can totally yeah. tell he's gonna be the one pulling the strings and manipulating it because he straight up says, you know, night versus day. You know, like he's really like psychotic about and it. And I think he's talking to yeah. Bruce Wayne probably when he says the red capes are coming. Something, man. I Who think knows? he's probably I mean, talking to to. There's gonna be Bruce some Wayne. some kind of ploy in there with that. You know. Um. But how about how about seeing Zod, dude? Like that, that was, was that cool. was something that was rumored for a little bit. Yeah, that that was body. how we're gonna get Doomsday is through Zod's I, body, and they totally showed it. So. I read a comment saying that people are thinking that uh, <clears throat> excuse me that Isaac, uh, Luther is going to do some sort of Zod clone army like takeover. You know what I mean? Uh, zombie Zod clone. I don't know. It wouldn't be a zombie, but I don't. It, that doesn't make sense to me because you you have so much shit in the movie already. I think you know? he's gonna harness Zod's body, and that's how we'll get Doomsday. Like yeah. I, th I think he's gonna create Doomsday out of it. <clears throat> and then it's Wonder Woman, dude. I, dude, she looks so good, man. She looked awesome. That scene when she just kind of releases that energy blast, man. I was just like, that was awesome. damn, that was so cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, she's she's gonna be awesome. I'm glad that you know she's got a significant role at least in the battle. And I mean, it seems like she's gonna have some kind of a relationship with Bruce Wayne. Um, but I think one of the things that really like made me excited. Was when you when <laughs> when he's got the Batmobiles just sitting there and like Superman rips the doors off, Batman like doesn't even get phased. He doesn't even care. He just stands up like it's fearless, dude. I'm gonna kill you right now. Like you he's just fearless, fucked up my yeah. Batmobile. Yeah, you know? yeah, like I love that, dude. It's I was just, like, oh my I've, god. Like yes. I fought yeah. crime. I've seen I've seen shit like that you haven't. Like that's I, why I like this version of Batman. You know? I like this like mm. like. Oh man, I'm just it's a dark guy. Returns, man. Hatred, like it very is, he has yeah. a death wish, dude. He's yeah. just like, I don't care. I'm gonna go out and do whatever. And if I die, I die. Like, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot because it is like the Frank Miller Batman. It's like I'm oh, this exactly. old old man Batman right now, and I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm here to like do what I need to do. <clears throat> and we got the first snippet of what the actual battle is too, man. When Batman just jumps up and just piles Superman right through the glass. Well, and you know, you, him. you know, the, you know. First off, right there, that scene. You know that suit has got to be powerful enough to knock Superman off his ass. If you, you know, what I mean, you can't just like go. If he's sitting there and you go, Ugh! you know, it's like, Poof! you know, you got to be. I'm thinking there has to be something with Lex Luthor and Bruce Wayne working together with some kind of like kryptonite, like something to keep like it 
usable to like keep Superman at bay. A, a, be, uh, so like we can stay. Might right. still just destroy him. My other theory with the two is just this incarnation of Superman. How we're seeing him, dude. Like, and Man of Steel is way too freaking powerful, dude. Like, Batman has no chance in hell, even in that mech suit, regardless. Right, so right. I'm almost thinking what's going to happen is when they start battling, Batman's going to be raging out and raging out, and Superman's just going to let him rage out just to exhaust his efforts and show yeah. him that he's not going. To hurt him, right? Yeah, because I'm not here to hurt you. I think you know? we're gonna see Superman get his ass whooped because he's allowing it to happen, not because he can't hold his own against Batman. Because I mean, right. there's there's just no way, dude. You had these two beings flying through buildings and just ripping shit up, dude. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, Batman. Like, I love you, but you have no chance in any kind of suit. Like, yeah, like nothing. I, like I was saying, it's just like you know, you destroyed my building. Like, you killed these innocent people. Uh, this is your fault. Like, no, it's not my fault. Like, please listen to me. It was Zod. Like, it was him. Like, believe me. Like, I'm, you know, I'm here to help you. Ah, ah, you know? Yeah. Just like. <laughs> but how, how cool is that dude when he was just like, this This man has too much power, man. He could like destroy. He could the destroy human the race. world, dude. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I have to destroy him. <laughs> like, real yeah. quick, uh, real quick, because uh, we're hitting time, but uh, Bruce Wayne, when he's talking to Alfred, and he's just like, uh, you know, there was like 20, 20 good guys in Gotham. Or twenty guy, good guys left in Gotham. And he's like, how many of them have like turned away? You know, yeah, how, right. you know. He's he, he, saying how Superman's got all this power and he'll turn eventually. Yeah, so I got to take him up before he does. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so good, man. Yeah, that's that's good dialogue, man. That's good dialogue. I like it. It made it made Aff- Affleck's character to me just like I loved it, dude. I, him screaming on the phone and then running towards it. I'm like, oh my god, it's like. Batman, dude, like yep. he's fearless, man. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> like you all don't know that this guy's like the Cape Crusader, dude. Yep. Like he's here to save people, dude. It's yeah, awesome. I'm glad we got a little tidbit of also Batman battling, like actually seeing him like fight some soldiers. That one little like boom, boom, yeah, yeah, he's amazing, fighting those dude. little like those those uh, military guys or whatever. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, that's dude. the Superman soldiers. They yep, have the, the Superman soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the fighting mechanic, dude. It looks like the, the video games, man. It does. It's, more, it's martial games. arts, but it's like one hit knockouts, man. It's all about that KO blow. Dude, yeah, like, it's, it's about, yeah, it's about the KO blow. It's not about, <laughs> like, uh, Tony Jaa doing, boop, 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 boop. Yeah. yeah, or, like, a Bruce Lee thing. It's just, like, a boom, no, you know? Rocky, man. Yeah, man. like, yeah, like, elbow to the fucking nose. <laughs> yeah, you got a nose here and pause it on your knuckles. It's a down. <laughs> yeah, it's a spawn <laughs> down. Like, oh, man. Oh, yeah, dude. I love that fucking line, man. <laughs> That's from <laughs> four, right? That's, no, that's, 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 that's Rocky. Rocky most like, recent old yeah. when he's old when he's old. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good stuff, man. So, where we were at, Skeptical, I'm telling you right now, this trailer completely flipped me around. I'm really excited for the movie. Really excited for this movie right now. Yeah. Yeah, me too. When does it come out? Next uh, May? June? March. March. Damn. Okay, earlier than I thought. I, I'm, I am interested to see if they're going to put anything with uh, with Aquaman. Anything at all. They had that little tease. I don't think we're going to see anything. Yeah. But that's it. Like, I don't think we're going to see Aquaman until the movie. Yeah. I think they're going to completely keep that concealed. Absolutely. I hope so, because you wonder... <laughs> You wonder, like, you, you wonder if he's just laying low, just like, what the fuck is going on up there? <laughs> yeah. Know? And it's just, like, kind of comes out in Jason Momoa glory, yeah, you know, because right. he's a fucking beast. And then just comes out, takes his <laughs> so, trident serpent fucking, uh, you know, hits a switch, <laughs> you son of a bitch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god shit, dude I, I could see it man yeah like you said like the Hulk version I can totally see it now yeah I can totally see it it's all starting to like after that trailer it's like okay I, I it makes sense a little bit I don't yeah. know I'm just kind of rambling but yeah no we'll see man I'm, I'm pumped dude I'm pumped for this now and I was pumped for it before but my reserves have been pretty much left to the side after this I'm, I'm pretty much on board yeah this could be what could bring DC back to like relevancy in like movies it could dude especially with suicide squad too which we're not gonna get into with a separate video but i mean from the footage we saw it was kind of hard to make some something it looked awesome too man so dark so twisted so sadistic and you saw that little clip of batman on the car love that dude threw that in there i was like whoo yeah Yeah. it's gonna be good stuff man it's gonna be good stuff man it's more exciting now it's getting it's getting a little more juicy yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Facebook.com slash Podcast. And until then, keep on nerfing.